Shio. Welcome back to our final Colors of the Rainbow series. Today, we will talk about the last color of the rainbow, but first, let's review our other colors. The first color is red. What are some red fruits and vegetables that you know? There are many red fruits and vegetables, including apples, tomatoes, and radishes. How about orange fruits and vegetables? Do you know any? There are oranges, cantaloupe, and peaches. The next color is yellow. What are some yellow fruits and vegetables? There are yellow squash, yellow potatoes, and bananas. Now let's do green. What are some green fruits and vegetables? There are lots of green fruits and vegetables, including kiwi, green beans, and broccoli. Let's move on to the color blue. What is our only blue fruit? That's right, it's blueberries. Remember that blueberries grow on a bush in the summer and early fall. Now, are you ready for our last color? What could it be? The last color of the week is purple. Let's learn how to spell purple first. Let's sound it out first. Purple. The first letter makes the P sound. What letter makes the P sound? If you said P, you're right. The next letter makes the U uh sound. What letter makes the U uh sound? It's the letter U. Now, let's move on to the next letter. It makes the R sound. Which letter makes the R sound? Did you say the letter R? That's right. The next letter makes the P sound again. Do you know what letter makes the P sound? It's the letter P. Only two more letters. The next letter makes the L sound. Which letter makes the L sound? It's the letter L. Now, the last letter is our silent letter. What could the silent letter be in purple? I'll give you a hint. It makes the I sound. The last letter is E. Now let's put it all together. Spell it with me. P U R P L E. Good job. Now let's learn how to say purple in Cherokee. The Cherokee word for purple is U-Y-T. Can you say it with me? U-Y-T. One more time. U-Y-T. Great job. Now, let's explore all of our purple fruits and vegetables. Do you know any? Let's start with vegetables. First, we have purple cabbage. Next, we have some bright purple lettuce. We also have purple beets that taste very earthy. Taro is a sweet purple vegetable that is sometimes added to drinks. 
Did you know that potatoes can be purple too? Another purple vegetable is kohlrabi, and it tastes like broccoli. Did you know that carrots are sometimes purple too? And our last purple vegetable is an onion. And for our purple fruits, let's start with this purple eggplant. Next, we have purple plums that are sweet and juicy. Elderberry is a purple fruit that is said to be used to make medicine. Figs are a fruit that are purple on the outside. Even grapes can be purple. They are used to make grape juice. And peas can be purple on the outside too. Are you surprised that peppers can be purple too? Just like blue foods, purple fruits and vegetables are said to help with our memory and help us stay healthy as we get older. So, to wrap up our final lesson, let's play a colorful food game. I'll give you the name of a fruit or vegetable, and you'll tell me all of the colors it could possibly be. Are you ready? Let's think about what color apples could be. Apples can be many colors, including red, yellow, and even green. How about peppers? What color can peppers be? They can be red, orange, yellow, green, and even purple. How about bananas? What color are they? Bananas are yellow. Now let's do blueberries. What color can they be? Blueberries are the only fruit on our list that is blue. Our next food is lettuce. What color can it be? Lettuce mostly comes in the color green, but can be other colors too, like red and even purple. And last but not least, what color can carrots be? Carrots can be orange, and they can be purple too. But they can also be a few colors that we didn't talk about, including yellow and even red. And with that, we've reached the end of our Colors of the Rainbow series. I hope you had fun. What was your favorite color? Did you try any new fruits and vegetables? Remember, we can try and eat every color of the rainbow as much as possible. Until next time, dunadukahai.